The Army of the Reichsmarschall had dual objectives in Bretonia, to crush the Orc, but to also exterminate the Lich Master. His dark magic and foul sorcery was confronted on the battlefield. Balton and Luther Huss were instrumental in that victory. They would warn the men that this battle would be the last one they would have to face. Then, in the lands of the Duchy of Pedavon, the Emperor led the Ubers Reich heroes and Ludwig against the garrison of Bretonians. It was a dark battle, but the overwhelming firepower and might of the Empire was more than enough to handle some poor peasants. Now, to finish off the Orc. Our army is now moving forward. Let's have a good look at our formation real quick. We're moving up right now. We're probably going to fight a little bit closer to these buildings or that rock over here. I do like that rock. That's my killing rock. Now, my halberds are going to be right in front of my huntsmen. My huntsmen are able to attack quickly. They can go after creatures like their giant. Giants are not that great. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. We've got too many toys now to counter giants. Then we've got war wagons over here who are going to help out my knights. We've got Sienna, Victor, and Barden using all of their ranged attacks to help out my knights. They do have boar boys, and boar boys, they're sturdy. Over here, Ludwig... Marcus and Carl are going to be fighting together. And don't forget, whenever I change up a class for one of the Ubers Reich, it changes up their weapons and armor. So now Marcus has a shield and a sword. I might change it back later, but we're going to see what that's all about. There they go. We're already getting a few attacks in. They do have an Orc Shaman. Orc Shamans are quite deadly. There's more Winds of Magic for them to use. I added in more. That way, everyone could cast more spells. And trust me, whenever you're fighting even more than one spellcaster, it gets nightmarish. They are slinging spells constantly. It's pretty awesome. So now everyone is charging in. My halberds are moving over to the front lines. We're trying to go after that little leader of theirs that's close by. Let's have a look at what's going to happen. You can see that there's just a lot happening in this battlefield all at once that I've got to react to. My halberds are moving up. My huntsmen are constantly going after their archers from behind. We've got streams of flames coming from over here. Sienna, Victor, and Barden are all fighting together. She's holding them back. The war wagons are close by. There goes a burning head ripping right through some of their ranged units. And a few more streams of flames. My Reichsguard, they can fight in a prolonged melee if they need to. I would rather them charge, sure, but if they need to, they'll do it. That giant is nearly dead now. Our left flank is taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. But there goes Marcus. He's trying. He's doing his part. That giant's about to die, though. Let's watch that giant die. Marcus Kruber has fought many, many rats that we don't know about. He's not going to let some giant take him down. Now it's running away. Okay. We don't need to watch it die, do we? There's a wob being issued, so now everyone's buffed up on their side. My halberds are still holding them back. And over here, we've got a Karin, one of these river hags. Not to mention their orc shaman and another hero of theirs. That's a lot. That's a lot in one area, man. Let's go back over here to the right flank. My knights are still fighting. I don't really like that very much, but I have Sienna and Barden now flanking them. She's using her spells. He's using his freaking drake gun to just shoot right through so many different orcs Ooh, friendly fire gotta watch out for that in the future just took out three knights he's like whoops put that on my bill put that on my tab four wagons are back here just shooting a few who are fleeing if we circle back around to the main formation we can see that a lot of these orcs are now just breaking they're done and we're just going after their leaders now i've got elite units i've got my imperial foot ludwig who's close by ludwig who looks incredible He's one of my favorite looking characters in here that I've ever seen. They're just so nice looking. It's awesome. Let's zip back out. These huntsmen are at least getting rid of a few more of them back here. It's pretty great. They are just dropping them. There's going to be some friendly fire, but it looks like we're still killing a lot more of the orcs. There goes another AoE from that orc shaman. I told you. See, they're just throwing spells constantly. I don't really have too many spells other than Sienna having like two spells or so. She doesn't have too many other than just being able to attack a lot. The war wagons are still moving around and the battle's pretty much over right now. But we came to go hunt down some orc and that's what we're doing. That orc shaman needs to be killed. There's only a few more left. Ooh, was he killed? 
No, good, good. Just out of nowhere, it's knocked down. Yeah, Carl took a lot of damage. Now, let's zoom out, and we can see that the battle's pretty much over. It's done. We're just killing the last few of them. But we've done it, everyone. We took out the orcs. We just need to push on again and fight another army of them. Then after that, we can go after the Lich Master Kemmler. We did it. We beat him. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill him. So after that, we get to go after Masif Orkal. If you remember, they were a grave threat to us for constantly going after Helmgarnt. Oh, look at that. Fendol would like to fight me, though he's way down here. I have no idea how that is meant to work. You are a survivor? I don't know how. Because you are making a very poor choice right now. Look, if I need to go down there, I'll go down there. Okay, a new quest for Carl here. The Silver Seal. I just need to move someone over to Altdorf. I can do that. What's over here now? Your state troops had recently been participating in joint military drills with their counterparts in Grand Barony of Hawkland. Political concessions. Sure, I've got the prestige for it. I've got a lot of it. We've gained a new opal amulet, providing ward save, and also more hit points, too. Duchy of Musion. Yeah, I'll go find them eventually, too. Orc Spain. Very nice. So more campaign movement range, more hit points, more leadership, and higher income whenever I stack a location. What does the you go, man. Mean? Two more turns, then we can leave Altdorf. Now... I've got some money, 9,500 gold coins. Let's go over here and build our Tailor's Guild. Done. Then after that, I should probably, I mean, I could continue to upgrade my walls. I need to maintain the peace. We do have a lot of public order, so we'll take for now paved roads. I'll build them later in Kano's. There we go. And over here, I'm going to want, well, I have that already. I'm going to want a weaving house. Then finally, a mason. That's more income. More income, more power. Okay, and Baston, we can upgrade it to a tier 2 village. Well, then again, they might just attack it again, so I won't do that. Not yet. Now, we are currently rank 9. I'm not going to give Karl Franz a mount. Not yet. Instead, oh, there's a lot I could give him, but I'm going to give him Woundmaker for more strength. Then, for Ludwig, at rank 22... I'm going to give him Scarred Veteran. For Sienna at rank 12, an Addict's Lesson. Plus one to a Hero Recruit rank for Battle Wizards. I'm not going to get a new one just yet, so we can wait on that. Why don't we pick up Unchained? Yeah, sure. She'll get some new abilities, and that sounds pretty darn cool. We'll try it out. We'll get Living Bomb. Ooh. Poor against large combatants. Weak against armor and causes moderate magical and fire damage nice then over here unstable strength as well and blood magic i can't wait to check those out later all right now victor you're rank 11 i'm not going to turn you into a zealot not yet i like what you have going on instead i'm going to give you gun sight rank 3. so now he's got 40 percent more armor piercing damage and a plus 10 percent to his range 1000 for missile strength He's going to crack some heads. I mean, that giant melted. All right. Now, unfortunately, I can't just auto-resolve. That means I've got to build up my siege towers. It'll take me two turns. Then we can take them down. We're pretty beat up, too. We took a lot of damage to a few of our infantry units. That's okay, though. I'm not going to give up. We're going to go strike now. And with what money I have left, I'm going to upgrade over here. What? Or what am I going to build? Yeah, I could just build our tap room now. Sure, I need one. And over in Canals, I'm going to build a livestock pens for even more replenishment. I could have moved back, but I would like to progress. I would like to proceed. All right, let's end our turn. It's about time to go after the last of the orcs of Bretonia. They're going to be much better for it, and so will I. That poor captain over at Helmgard has had to deflect so many different attacks constantly. Here comes one leader of theirs. We're having a charge around. Oh man, Sienna's looking pretty wild right now. She's kind of scary. She's charged again. There's Victor and Ludwig. I think that leader's going to die quickly. Yeah. <laughs> they did it together. 
Now we've got two more leaders to kill. One Orc Shaman and one River Troll Hag. That Orc Shaman's about to get shot to pieces. Then we've got the main army to fight. Don't you use any of your foul green magic here. My god. That Karin is huge. I hate it. We're having like a little boss battle here. It's like my D&D adventuring party just going forward. All right, boys, we're going to have to do this. Let's try it out. I want that Orc Shaman dead. And they're all hitting her. Oh, oh. The Orc Shaman is dead now. Very nice. Now there's only one more character to go after. Old Saggy Tits. Sagging so low, they bump her knees. All right. She's dead now. Now we've got the main army to worry about. We've got some boar boys here moving up. My war wagons are responding to them in kind, saying, Hello, greetings from the Empire. Of course, they don't understand bullet. That's okay. We'll try to take care of it. Keep on shooting, boys. Here comes my Reichsguard now, charging in to fight them in melee combat. Now the main army's on the way, too. They've got even more forces. Two giants. Two giants who are on the way. And another leader of theirs, so we've got a lot to worry about. We're hunting down some squig. I do want some fine squig shoes. They did force Carl to come all the way out here in order to expunge the threat of the greenskin. They should know better. If greenskins are coming from a source and you will not destroy that source, he will come and root it out himself. That is what Carl does. And he signs papers. Let's go over here now. Night goblins are under attack from my own ranged units. It's only their vanguard force. Yeah, she's unchained. So Sienna's going to be terrifying now. She's got that living bomb ability where she blows herself up. And it's going to be great. So she's going to be fighting in melee. Taking a decent amount of damage. My heroes are still fighting over here together. It's pretty cool to watch them. I've never really been interested in like some type of hero party. But I've got to say, I really enjoyed here. They're not getting too many kills. They get like, what, 40, 50 kills, maybe a few more. So it feels very balanced. Oh my god, they're using fanatics right by their own formation. They've got black wargs too. Let's come over here and watch the battle. Look at everyone just close by. Sienna looks insane. She looks like that, um, just some type of character from Twisted Metal or something. Oh my god, living bomb. She says, be gone. I'm too hot for you. Don't touch. We're still looking about. Another burning head. Ripping right through these night goblins. Carl's like, man, I'm warm. She's like, yeah, I make everyone hot. I don't know, Sienna. I don't know. Work on your skincare just a little bit. Looking kind of dilapidated there. All right, so now we're going after this war boss. Then, guess what? There's another wave. We're not done. Or call Masif. <laughs> Let me hit you. I want your sword. The wagons, the huntsmen, they're hitting the black orcs. We're all charging in to fight them. I just saw one head roll on by. Let's zoom out real quick and have a better look at what they have. So we're looking at giants. We're looking at, let's see, some goblins, orcs, of course. Two giants are not a big deal. They do take away my time that I could be spending with my huntsmen on other targets. So that's a thing. Then over here, we've got the trolls who are moving in. The war wagons are just shooting at them. That's armor piercing damage too. So that's doing a lot of damage. The trolls will probably break quickly. I wanted to bring back my leaders as quickly as possible, but I needed Carl, Ludwig, Sienna, and Marcus to quickly kill them or at least break them. And so far, they are doing that. Check out that fight. Carl's like, I don't care. I'm the emperor. I would not disobey my emperor if I knew that he was beating trolls in the head with a hammer, okay? I would say, hmm, you know what? I'm going to pay my taxes, and I'm just going to avoid trouble. Now, there's a giant moving forward. We don't want to fight that giant. That's too much damage. They just used some orc shaman ability. Just breaking apart one of my formations. I don't like that. Barden's close by. I was waiting to use Barden for later. I wanted him to cook some orc. And there we go. Another burning head. Burning a lot of them. Let's zoom out again and just have a good look. So they've taken some damage. Sure. 
For some reason, it's only showing so many of them, but that's all right. We can see their unit models. Oh, poor Victor. He's been clubbed. Yeah, for some reason, skirmish mode on my war wagons was not really working. And they were staying in combat for most of that. And that was very strange. Sienna's coming back in. I'm letting everyone just charge in to allow my huntsmen to attack. But pretty soon, we're going to have to go charge in with everyone. I wanted to focus on their giants. Sienna's close by. They've used a wash. She's fighting right by Ludwig and Carl. Another living bomb to clear out some space, which is an incredible ability just for that sole purpose alone. So way over here, my Reichsguard are winning their fights. My war wagons are still attacking some orcs. Then we've got a very interesting shield ability that you just saw out of the corner. That comes from Marcus. It's like a shield charge ability that shoots out in a cone and it's very powerful. Their abilities just feel unique and profound to use on the battlefield. They're very interesting and I like them a lot. So now the Halberts have charged up. They're still using that AOE ability and I'm just using whatever spells I can with Sienna who's just charging in, shooting flames at everyone and smacking the hell out of orcs. Bright wizards are terrifying, you know. There we go. Another blowback, dealing some damage to them. Let's have a look over here now. We've beaten a lot of them. We have to go after this little leader of theirs with my Reichsguard. It just wasn't a focus. That's all that it was. It just wasn't a focus. Over here, I've got my Imperial Foot fighting some more of these biggins. And let's go back. They're using another wall, buffing up their stats. There's another AoE, and it's doing more damage because we're already weakened. It's a great disruption ability. Now, I've got some flames shooting in, and I've got to be so much more careful in the future. I'm just going to use it probably where there's no chance for it to hit anyone else. Barden only has a few more shots left. Let's keep on looking. So, we go back around. We see that a lot of the orcs are already dead. The battle is nearly won. We have done an incredible job. Carl's close by. There's Marcus too. As long as we draw and if we zoom out real quick, we can actually just look up here and see what's going on. Over here, my war wagons were able to do a lot of damage to that one group of orc biggins. These black orcs are now wavering. A lot of them have broken. There's only a few who are left on the battlefield. We've gone after that goblin big boss who's currently broken. So that's really all that you need to know about what's happening right now. We held out. There's that shield ability from Marcus. It shoots out quite far. I just thought we could use it. Why not? And there's Carl charging in. And there's some more flames from Barden. Yeah. That well, was pretty good, you know. Now, over here is where we have naturally Sienna using a double flame attack. I just want you to witness what she just did. She completely wiped out a group of night goblins using living bomb and burning head. Oh my god, it travels really far. Holy crap. I can hit multiple units. My Reichsguard is now moving in. There we are. So the battle is won. We have done it. The orcs of Massif are called or call Massif, they are done. There's a trail of dead here, and we did it. Carl and his men have done it. There is victory for the Empire today. Electors go to war? No, no they don't. I've got the prestige to say no. Endless winter. Ah, they performed a right over in Kislev. There we go. That's a good choice, but it could also be a sign things are not going very well there. We've got clergy of Sigmar, if I ever want to get my own hero. Would it take me long to level them up? They would already be at a very high level. Oh, Vlad's gone. Oh, but Manfred is coming back. Look at that. He's back to doing well again. Interesting. Okay. We just took out a lot of enemies. We've picked up Brave now. Plus four to charge. Plus five to leadership. Plus three percent to strength. And let's see. Oh, we're getting a lot of traits, aren't we? Nice. I will fight with now, Sienna. She took a lot of damage, but she also dealt a lot of damage. 
fire resistance 20 percent for the entire army you know what we're just going to take that no questions involved at all that's always handy veteran repeater we'll take that too <laughs> plus 25 when fighting large creatures nice okay then barden i'm okay with what you've been doing but i think i want to change it up for a little bit i'm not going to make you a slayer but i might change up your weapon set later on a veteran crossbow not really my thing not right now let's see what's over here more weapon strength i like that too yeah i think we'll come down to the slayer tree that looks good to me right after i get range there we go so we'll get dead eye first only two more levels to go, but they are leveling up quickly, so it shouldn't take too long anyway. Wound Maker, rank two for Marcus Kruber. All right, now what can I do? I need one more turn, then I can auto resolve. What else am I going to pick up while I'm out here? I've got how much longer to go? One more turn, then I'll have my land ship. <laughs> You're going to love that. What is it? Yeah, a literal land ship. A ship on land. <laughs> Dumb? Maybe. Amazing? Oh, absolutely. All right, so what else am I going to pick up? Marienburg, tier four. Yeah, probably a good idea. Then whatever else I can get to make more money is a sound idea, but I also want upgraded walls too. There we go. Everything is looking really good. You know what, Montfort? Maybe later. All right, so one more turn to go. We need more technology. What else do I want? Well, I could use maybe more money. I mean, I have a lot. Don't get me wrong. But what about more money? Cheaper Reichsguard. Yeah, sounds good to me. And over here, plus three to Lord Recruit rank. If I ever get another Lord, and I am going to, that would be nice to have. Okay, so plus three. Nice. We'll have a custom leader out eventually. You know what? Fine, Mom Ford. Take your upgrade, but don't get burned down. Now we can end our turn again. What's over here in Talabiklin? Are you complaining again? Well, Kurt Helborg is busy, and here you are, bickering. Oslin, I don't want you to join me right now. Let's improve our relations with Talabiklin. There we are. Now, it's finally time to take over the Massif or Call. I've been meaning to do that for a very long time. Loot and Occupy? Oh, heck yeah. That is a lot of money. I could just leave it. I could let some other faction take it. I don't need to hold on to it, but look at all of the building slots here. Not bad. And yeah, maybe I will keep it. All the buildings are gone. I'll take a tap room. I'll take over here upgraded walls. Sure. A weaving house as well. I could use it for a lot of things, you know. A Reichsford. Feels about right. Maybe when I have more money. I want to spend my money on other targets. Okay, rank 10. What do I need for you? Woundmaker, rank 2. Perfect. And Ludwig at level 23. I'm going to give you Scarred Veteran at rank 3. You've got to have that extra HP if you want to survive in battle for long periods of time. Okay, Dead Eye, rank 2. Giving you a little bit more range. And for Marcus, I'm going to give you Woundmaker, rank 3 as well. Over 400 weapon strength. Now, do I have a new weapon for you? Not really, no. I've got armor for you. Yeah, take that. No talisman. And one new follower in case you're wounded. All right, what's over here? Kurt is finally ready to go into battle again. I could go after the undead over to the east, but I feel like we could still wait on that. They have many factions around who are trying to help them out. So I'm going to go somewhere else. Let's go after Heinrich. Yeah. Let's go. It might take me a minute. No, I don't want to hire them. Maybe if those two were like heroes or something cool, but no, one's a lord, one's a hero. And they're only here for 20 turns. All right, so what else do I want? I'm going to repair the capital. Done. We'll need a good name for these mountains. And while I'm out here, let's sort by income. All right. I'm going to build over here my Temple of Sigmar. Done. Then I'm going to build my library. Okay. We're pretty much out of money. I'm going to build up my toll gates for more campaign movement range. And we can end our turn after getting more public order. Nice work, everyone. So when I look at it, what grave enemies do I have close by? I'm not worried about the wood elves. They actually like me, which is very shocking. 
I've got to destroy maybe Musion, or I could leave it alone. I could just go conquer Norskin lands. There's a lot of corruption up here. Oh man, the King of Britonia really got wiped down. But I don't want to have to come up here to find a bunch of Norskins. Don't make me do that. I could do it, but it would be a lot of work. Reich's Marshal, Kurt Helmborg, Bolton, Heinrich von Krinkel, Reich's Captain, Hans Zentler, and Luther Huss. Everyone has gone to give their all today if we're going to win this battle. I am so heavily outnumbered. They even have five Mortis engines and many ethereal units. They're on their way, and we've got to endure. I've got two lines of infantry, handgunners behind all of them. My land ship of Marienburg is right over here. I'll probably have to get a new one in time. They're not nearly as durable as a steam tank. But here they are. If you've never seen one, it is a majestic and strange unit. Why is it here? I couldn't tell you, but we have one. Okay. Let's go back around again. So in the very beginning, we're going to have to fight a lot of fell bats. Fell bats are always on the way to cause a bit of an issue. There we go. Curse of the Midnight Wind. I didn't want them to be able to deal too much damage to anyone. Over here are my Leone D'Argento. There's Mercenary Swordsmen. That's what they're called. They're incredibly good at what they do. And already, look at who is beginning to summon in units. Heinrich. Heinrich came up. I didn't even see him until he brought in all these extra units. It's a dark battle map. So I'll be using every single Shield of Faith, every single Harmonic Convergence, whatever I could do to buff up that group. They are unbreakable, which is good, but they are also surrounded right now by a lot of undead. So over here, it comes even more of them. We're just having to wait. We're just having to be careful and wait. I'm now bringing over Luther and also Bolton because I've also got to try to take out their leaders while focusing all of my handgunners on their Mortis engines. What type of sick nightmare scenario am I in? I have never feared an undead army so much as I do now. Vampire counts, I go, ha ha, I know how to beat you. The Lich Master, he's a bit different. He frightens me. They've done a great job at truly making him intimidating and awful. So we're getting everyone to focus on Krell because we've got to. There's no choice. We've got to focus on Krell. Here comes more of them now. Another Banshee. The land ship is having to fight. I needed something to help hold that corner because of all of the hex raves. They have so many. They've got nothing but hex raves for days. There's a miscast. And more divine calls to Sigmar to help us out. Of course, we're going to use more magic. Comet of Cassandoras are going to be instrumental when it comes to destroying those ethereal units. They have so many. So we're going to use what we can. We can zoom out and see what's happening. Let's go over here and check out that spell. Dealing a lot of damage to those hex raves. I needed that. We've got a cannon. We've got guns. Let's keep on hitting. And look at that. There's three Mortis engines just over here. These swordsmen, they're holding. They're not all dead. There's another Krell here. Luther is attacking. There's another miscast breaking apart my own formation. My handgunners are still focusing all of their attacks on one Mortis engine at a time. We can see four. Four total. Another miscast. She won't leave it alone. And there's another Comet of Cassandora and another Mortis engine. So let's have a look at stats real quick. So over here, we've got the land ship. 100 armor, 160 missile strength, 250 weapon strength, very low melee defense, and okay average melee attack, 19 kills right now. Then, what else will we have? A Lombian Vampire Lord at six kills. We also have this weird creature called the Nameless. Look at that. Just a red spirit moving in. So we've got a lot that we have to worry. I mean, look at what's hit me so far. That is what I'm currently fighting. Luther Huss had to move back. We're using Comet of Cost and Doors constantly over on my left flank. They're miscasting constantly. I suppose they're upgrading their spells a lot. Now my mounted units are moving in. When I fought this myself, it felt like it took an eternity because of how crazy these fights were. And see, look, we're using Awesome Presence. We're using every buff that we can in order to maintain leadership 
in order to maintain melee defense. We're using more magic again. Curse of the Midnight Wind, Comet of Cost and Doors. Another one landing right there. N another just Divine Prayer to Sigmar. Reichland Rune Fang. Here's more leadership and melee attack. They're at over 100 kills now. Let's go back in. And what am I doing? I'm just trying to hold. We have a wall. We just need to hold. I've got my grenade launchers too, but they can easily be attacked by any number of their mounted units. We're focusing on another Mortis engine because we can't allow any of these to stay. Their auras are so devastating. And I'm trying to get Kurt to go after the Vampirist and also the Nameless One, who seems to have fallen finally. We just watched it fall. There goes another Mortis engine. Unfortunately, my land ship is surrounded and I couldn't get back to it. It has kind of shifted. It's yeeting a few units away. There goes another Mortis engine. I think I finally got them all. But look at how many are still left. How many that we're still having to fight. Another Comet of Cassandora. It's an apocalyptic battle. As I told you before, I feel like I have found the pinnacle of my mod collection. And I'm looking forward to keeping up to date with it. It's so cool. Being able to fight battles like I am right now. Unique creatures, unique units. It lasts a lot longer. Unfortunately, the land ship is about to sink. It just couldn't do it. There's too much going on. There's a chain lightning, at least getting some kills. Now, they do spawn in a small crew of Marion Burgers, but unfortunately, there's only like 20 of them, and they're surrounded, so they're going to die. They had to abandon ship. And here are my Demigriff Knights, who, again, are going to be able to crush a lot. My Reichsguard are trying to help out my grenade launchers. We're all over here. We're going to have to try to keep it busy because I need to help out. Look, he's bringing in more undead. He's just bringing in more. Because I added in more Winds of Magic, that means any spellcaster I fight is going to feel like a Warhammer spellcaster. Everyone gets to cast more spells. I mean, you know how that goes with the base amount of Winds of Magic you get, right? You cast like four spells and they just have to sit. So because I have longer battles, we need more spells for everyone. That means when I fight spellcasters, I have to do something about them, which is only logical. In any type of like fiction, if there's a spellcaster, you do everything you can to get rid of them or to counter them. Because if you don't, they're going to kill you. They're going to wipe out your army. Now my handgunners are trying to help out, but look at that. It doesn't even look like we've done anything at all. That's how many undead are just being summoned in. How many undead have yet to leave? They took out my land ship. I'm gonna need a new one now. I had no idea how difficult this battle would be. Hans is out here on his own. Vault has been fighting nonstop. Let's have a look at his kills real quick. Over 100 kills right now. Another comet landing close by. They're just falling. He's pulling balls. He's throwing balls. There's Hans. You can look at his stats real quick. 93 melee defense, 84 melee attack. He's tough. All buffed up. 54 kills right now. Over here is Kimmler. He just won't leave it alone. And way, way over here. There's my grenade launchers attacking some more of these units. Thank goodness for that, right? We're also fighting some Barrow Ghost, which is a great disruptor unit. Oh, it's just great at knocking things back, man. It's wild. So that's what we're having to watch out for. Let's zoom out again. We're finally making a big difference. We've killed a lot. Over on the right flank, we've killed so many. They got 162 kills. They have 25 left. Keep in mind, that one group of Leone de Argento, they have been fighting the entire time. Now a lot of the undead are beginning to collapse, finally. There's another comet that just launched itself onto the ground. And we've had, again, one of the coolest battles I've had in my Total War Warhammer career. It is so awesome to be able to do this. I mean, in what fights have you had personally? Have you been able to see so many ruins and wreckages of just various types of large entities like that? There's just bodies everywhere. There's very few left. My Demigriff Knights are holding. And look at what they've done. 122 kills. Not one has died. They have only 20. They're very, very strong. I needed them. Here's Kimmler. He's killed no one yet. Not directly. Indirectly? Absolutely. Okay, so Hans, 85 kills. Valton has 189 kills. 190 now. Valton is covered in blood. You can see even Hans back there having to fight. He's having to do his part. 
And now, a miscast because we cause issues for spellcasters. It's just what we do. Let's have a look at that real quick if we can. I don't think we can directly. Let me see if I can. I know we like provide a miscast. It's like right down, maybe another unit. Yeah, they'll show it right over here. Let me go look at the Grave Guard. So they've got a 25% chance to miscast. Thank you, my warrior priest. So now Valton and Hans, they're over here fighting Kimmler. They've got to. The guy is just bringing in more undead. He's, he's not done yet. That's how much magic he has. So finally, this legend of Warhammer is truly the grandest of all Lich Masters. He's been engulfed in light. My God, that was blinding. He's being hit by multiple targets, and we finally got him. He's finally down. We got rid of the Lich Master. And we're about to win. More divine abilities that are being brought to the battle. We've got the Reich's Marshal close by. He's been leaping into combat, throwing enemies around. We've got over here some more of these Hex Raves. We're still going after that Barrow Ghost. Just kind of been a distracting type of battle. I've got some handgunners nearby who are shooting at some enemies. I'm going to have to go after these enemies over here too. They're going after my handgunners. No matter how few they have, they can kill a lot. So we won. We won over here. We just have to finish off what's left. So I hope that all of you are enjoying this because it has been tremendous. It has been so much fun. An absolute pleasure and delight. Oh, God, that was stressful. But we did it, my friends. We did it. Very nice work. Demogriff Knights are charging in. We're just getting rid of what's left. Once they're done for, we can go home. Look at what they have. Just a few unique and powerful units. Just a few unique and powerful things that we've got to worry about. But it's finally over. We have won. It's time to rest, everyone. Well, that was a nightmare scenario. My god, I had to fight five Mortis engines and so many other undead. Ah, uh, the Grand Theogenist. I might use him later, too. Establish a trade agreement. Yeah, Nordland offered me a trade agreement. That's done. Now I just need some mortars over in Carl's army. We'll do that eventually. All right, new armor. Plus 10 to armor. 10% ward save, negating all forms of damage. And let's see. Fortunately, we were in our own territory, so replenishment was not a huge issue. I just need some of my own units. We are fighting undead. So who's going to do a good job of doing that? You don't have magical damage. You two do, however. And I'm going to take that. Let's enjoy it. Let's take it. I've got the money for it. Now, I'm going to give you, let's see, wild-eyed. You could use more melee attack. You could use more melee defense. Yeah, take that armor. You need that armor more than anyone. You're fairly fragile, unfortunately. Let's see. That'll work out. What about for Volton? Okay, we need to pick that up. So I'm going to give him his Barded Warhorse. Then later, in one more level, he'll become the Exalted of Sigmar. Guys, let me tell you, I spent that entire game buffed up, using every buff possible for my two freaking warrior priest type characters and it was hard it was incredibly hard i had to debuff buff but we did it we beat them so now we're gonna wipe out that last army i needed to go away go away lady i'm very mad at you for what you did to us okay now let's have a look over here vampire hunter more magic more research rate more leadership and we lose less attrition when fighting vampire counts very nice Let's go over here now. And we're just going to auto-resolve it. I'm going to burn it down. I don't want it. They can have it. I destroyed the Barrow Legion. I had no idea they were going to become a vast foe. We're fighting so many vast foes. <laughs> oh, my god. I came out here going, I'll kill the orcs. And it kind of turned into a little bit more than that. Okay, Kurt. I'm going to give you Blade Shield. Then over for Hans at rank 24, I'm going to give you Wound Maker. Then Heinrich at level 23. You did a great job. He did a great job. Two points into Curse of the Midnight Wind. We'll take that. Volton, finally. 
Exalted of Sigmar. You'll see that in battle very soon. It's going to be awesome. But look at that, Gal Mirage. He's got his mount. Tall Elven Steed, its flanks white and glistening, its armor gleaming. Athaldan has been sired by Malhandir, steed of Prince Tyrion. Though not purebred like his father, Athaldan was finer than any horse of the old world. Fancy. Then his special armor, plus 15 armor, 10% ward save, 25% magic resistance. Enemy heroes are going to have a very hard time trying to bother him. Okay, Luther. Level 23. I'm going to give you Dave Sebastian. Take that. Because later I want you to have Chosen of Sigmar. And of course, more melee defense. He needs a lot more of it. He's very good. He's just very vulnerable to damage. Okay, so now we can move away from that. We finally beat them. We got rid of a bunch of undead. There's Musion left. I don't have to go after them. I could choose to. I might. Who knows? All right, let's upgrade that. I've got plenty of money for once. But look over here. Reichland needs some new upgrades too. I could build my Cathedral of Sigmar. That would be fancy now, wouldn't it? All right, and over here. I want my Cinnabar Mining Pit. What else do I want? It's probably rather simple. More of a movement range wouldn't hurt, but I'm going to take my Weaving House instead. And at Pedavon, more money. We're just going to make more money. Let's build a few buildings like that. Canels, I want you to have walls. I still have some money left. Plenty of public order over here. Very nice. I'm going to get rid of the one over in Rutgers Point. We don't need that any longer. What's the for call? You've got a lot. So I'm going to give you roads. Lord Lorne Forest, you've got happiness. I mean, we have a lot of public order right now. Not in every location, but in a lot of locations. Okay. Let's see. I might save up the rest of what I have, because I can build better buildings later on as I get to them. All right, Carl. My friend Carl. Are we done out here? I think we're mostly done out here, aren't we? Yeah. Outside of taking on Musion, I mean, I could go do that for him. We'll see. But for now, let's go back. Yes. We've got a lot of veterans. I mean, that was intentional. I wanted to have a lot of veterans. Can't really move that far yet. We're going to end our turn in just a minute. Let's have a look at diplomacy again. No, I don't like you that much. No. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Uh, yeah, actually, that's what I want to do. Let's have a look. Diplomatic status. So we've got some undead over here. Sure. They've kind of been isolated, so we don't need to go after them directly. I do want to figure out what I'm going to do about what's happening over here too it looks like oh wow really you did it artois well good for you man Bow before the right very Bow good for chilfroy all right anyway back out so the biggest threats that i could see right now would probably be a bunch of these enemies up north that does concern me kislev is holding on they're okay krakadrak is okay throg appears to be the dominant tribe up north which in a way is less annoying than Wolfric, just because i mean trolls i can get some anti-large stuff in and take care of them so we've got to really think about what next campaign we want to wage chaos isn't here yet which is fine that's completely fine and we also just want to ensure that we expand while having some significant threats to tackle now we do know the dwarfs were wiped out i don't know it seems like, from what I can tell, the orcs are all down here. The Bloody Hands tribe, Grimgore, all of that. So it's really up to all of you. We could even go over here and fight some Dark Elves. That would be very challenging. We could finish off Musion. I could ignore the Vampire Counts or go straight for them, though. I mean, they're fairly fragmented. I don't know how well they're going to do. It seems like there's just a, a freaking back and forth here. There's Azhag's whole deal. We still have Skaven up north. We have a lot of Norskins up north, too. Let's see, beyond that, probably some Skaven down here who are causing issues. That's what it seems like. If there's ruins, then yeah, they did that. But we're on Mortal Empire, so we could theoretically just go anywhere. It's really up to all of you. If any of you want to make a good case, you could play the role of a statesman of the Empire in the Imperial Court, arguing to Carl and Kurt where you should go and why you should go there. We also need to probably get some more elite units and a few armies. I like what I have. Then we'll eventually build a third army. Yeah. That's what we're going to do eventually. Just build a third army. Hold on. Let's have a look over here. I'm going to pick up Carillion. I'm not a huge fan of her, but might as well pick her up, I suppose. Handmaiden Shade. So we've got options. Really interesting options. 
Clear Quran Ancestors. Very cool. Oh, that's very cool. Skilled Assassin. She's got over here, let's see, Handmaiden, Waystalker. Okay. Very interesting. One healing ability as a Waystalker. I guess if I had you go down that route, I might want you to become a Shade at rank 10. But let's see, if you have that, you're still going to have ranged abilities. So why don't we give you a reload time reduction? I like that a lot. Then over here, yeah, let's just try out your current thing. Oh, definitely get redemption because I don't want to fight a bunch of wood elves. Don't make me do that. And of course, having over here, Prey of Anath Rema is fantastic. It's a hex. It keeps people from moving. I love that. We're getting that right now. No, she should be fine to use. She's not going to call everyone a mayfly in Lumberfoot, I hope, or I'll lose my mind and foam at the mouth. That's very likely. Okay, I'm going to give her that too. Cheaper heroes. And here's her potion as well. There we go. All in one go. I'm going to bring her out to the, probably the east to go do whatever jobs she needs to. We've got some quests to do as well. Let's see. Mortars for him. I need to move one person to Aldorf. Yeah, so we can do that. Anyway, we're going to call it here, everyone. You've got a lot of input to provide. Thank you for watching. Look forward to more later. Until then. The Reich's Marshal is finally able to rest for a short period of time. Though his hand is ever ready on his blade, for he knows the threats and foes of the Empire are many.